Hey, financial future enthusiasts. Welcome back to your go-to channel for the latest news and updates on economic stimulus packages. Today, we have some exciting developments to share with you. But before we dive into today's updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update on all things stimulus-related. We're here to keep you informed and empowered during these challenging times. All right, let's jump right in. Today's video is packed with absolutely crucial information that directly affects over 71 million fixed-income beneficiaries in the U.S. Whether you're receiving Social Security Retirement, Disability SSDI, Survivor's SSI, or VA benefits, this video is a must-watch as we delve deep into the intricacies of your financial security in 2024. All right, let's dive straight into the heart of the matter. We're talking about bank accounts, the fate of your social security benefits, and what you need to know to navigate through the uncertainties of the current economic climate. I've been meticulously researching and addressing the concerns flooding the comment section and my inbox, and today I'm breaking it all down for you. With well over 71 million fixed-income beneficiaries in the U.S., the significance of this demographic cannot be overstated. As we approach November, fixed-income beneficiaries are poised to play a pivotal role in the upcoming elections. Brace yourselves because 2024 is gearing up to be a year with a spotlight firmly on the financial welfare of fixed-income beneficiaries. Now, let's talk about the economic landscape. Spoiler alert, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Affordability issues, inflation, and economic indicators doing the cha-cha it's a lot to take in. While I won't subject you to an extensive economic lecture, we need to address the legitimate concerns that many of you have been voicing. The critical question on everyone's mind is your bank account at risk in a world filled with talks of bank closures and economic contractions. It's a valid concern, but fear not, my friends. Most banks are insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, covering depositors up to $250,000 per account. So, unless you're stashing millions under your mattress, chances are you're in the clear. Now let's talk about credit unions. They have their own insurance, the National Credit Union Administration, working similarly to FDIC. So, credit union enthusiasts, rest assured you're not forgotten. But here's the real scoop. If your bank goes belly up, your deposits are generally protected thanks to FDIC or NCUA. No need to panic. No need to pull out your hard-earned cash and start a mattress treasure hunt. However, we need to keep our eyes peeled. The banking sector is walking on shaky ground, and with economic challenges ahead, we might witness more closures. But for now, don't lose sleep over it. I've got your back, and I'll be here to keep you posted on all the twists and turns. Let's delve a bit deeper into FDIC insurance. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation was established to protect depositors in the event of a bank failure. It covers up to $250,000 per depositor per bank. This means if you have less than $250,000 in your bank account, your funds are protected. Now, not every bank is insured by FDIC, but the vast majority of reputable banks are. You can usually spot this assurance with a plaque or sign displayed at the bank. It's an extra layer of security, providing peace of mind to depositors. For those of you invested in credit unions, the National Credit Union Administration functions similarly to FDIC. It insures deposits up to $250,000 per account in credit unions. So whether you're with a bank or a credit union, the idea is to ensure your hard-earned money is protected. While the banking sector is currently in a precarious position due to a variety of factors, including defaults in commercial real estate, the key is not to panic. The economy has seen its fair share of ups and downs, and while challenges are ahead, it's essential not to jump to extreme measures. Now let's address a question that's been popping up. Should you cash out your savings? My advice, don't rush into it. If you're banking with a reputable institution that is FDIC-insured, 
your deposits are generally safe up to $250,000. Cashing out might seem tempting, but it comes with its own set of risks, like the temptation to spend or the potential for loss. For those of you using Direct Express cards, the situation is somewhat similar. Benefits are deposited onto the card backed up, and funds are held in a bank. Again, the key is to ensure that your bank is reliable and preferably FDIC insured. The ripple effect continues as a Texas county plans to give low-income residents in the Houston area $500 a month as part of a guaranteed income pilot program with $2.5 million in COVID relief fund. This program is poised to make a significant difference. Imagine the possibilities a community uplifted, families supported, and lives changed. Now let's pause for a moment and reflect on the broader implications. What are your thoughts on universal basic income? Should it remain a local initiative, or is it time for a federal program to take center stage? Let's spark a conversation. Imagine redirecting funds that often go abroad to address conflicts towards helping Americans who need it the most. It's a revolutionary idea that deserves some serious consideration. As we navigate through 2024, it's crucial to keep an eye on the banking sector. Predictions of a major contraction and consolidation of banks have been circulating, and this could impact the financial landscape significantly. While I don't want to induce unnecessary worry, it's important to stay informed. In conclusion, while the economic outlook may not be the rosiest, there's no need to lose sleep over the safety of your deposits. FDIC and NCUA provide a safety net for depositors, and as long as you're with a reputable institution, your funds are generally secure. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.